Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back once again to the greatest watch market update show in the world. Unbelievable, but true, but we do. You know that me and Kino always try to bring you what's really happening out there in the Muppet Boiler Room secondary great watch market channels and dealers. Unbelievable, but true. And today, you know, we're going to be talking about something that sweet kid Kino has prepared. Unbelievable, but true. Unbelievable. As you know, me and Kino cannot permit that you guys continue skipping and hopping around through life with a big lollipop sucker in your mouth. That's right. We can't. Things are very, very bad out there. And these Muppet Boy the Room secondary great watch market dealers keep telling you and pounding you in your head that the watch market is up and running. Well, I got to tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. The watch market is dead. That's right. The watch market is dead. And you know, we don't want you guys to continue getting flim flam and fleeced by all these spoof balls. These guys have been flim flamming you and fleecing you for too long until sweet kid Kino and I came along. That's right. Unbelievable but true. I just want you to know that China's banking sector is facing a full scale crisis. That's right. That's right. Just in one week, 40 banks have disappeared in China. That's right. 40 banks. You know that channel, that channel that continues telling you that when China opens up, when Hong Kong opens up, the watch market is just going to go up to the stars. You know, that guy, we're talking about that he's worth like around, I don't know, I think he's worth like, he's unbelievable. He's worth like $250 million. We're talking about no other than Deputy Droopy Butthole Eyes with the Tweety Bird haircut. This guy has been pounding you in your head when Hong Kong opens, because, you know, he, he's, uh, he says, he says, he says, that he has an office in China, you know, somewhere in China, Hong Kong, I don't know where, you know, uh, I don't know, I don't know, Hanning, I don't know where, where, but he has an office. This deputy droopy butthole eyes with the Tweety Bird haircut has an office somewhere in China. Let's just say he has it in Hong Kong. And he says that when everything opens up in China, the watch market is just gonna go boom again. Well, ladies and gentlemen, China's in a big crisis. The banking sector is in a big crisis in China. Over 40 banks have closed in the last week in China. Banks are being frozen. The accounts of banks are being frozen. Four banks in Henning have frozen everybody's money. That's right. And one and on who has also frozen their money over there. Things are terrible, ladies and gentlemen, around the world right now. Everything we have been turned upside down. Everything. The dollar is about to collapse. I'm going to get into that too. The dollar is about to collapse. But don't believe these flim flammers. They're telling you that the watch market is up and running. The watch market is dead. And you know why this is happening? Are you taking a look at the videos and the pictures I'm putting up for you guys? And you know why this is happening, ladies and gentlemen? I'm going to tell you why. This is happening because there is a property downturn in China. And over, over 1,000 small lending institutions have closed. Things are bad, ladies and gentlemen. You got to be very careful with your children's tuition money. You know, you got to be careful with your mortgage money. You know, with your car payments, your grocery bill. You know, you got to be very careful. Don't continue letting these hucksters and hoodwinks continue fleecing you. The watch market is dead.
And I'm talking about very dead. If China is going through that right now, it's coming our way. Does the United States have banking in China? Of course they do. Of course they do. They have banks there too. Unbelievable but true. It's coming our way, ladies and gentlemen. It's coming our way. Be careful with your money. Don't be window flavor lollipop suckers. The watch market is dead in a backyard pool and floating face down like this. Unbelievable. I can't really laugh too much because this is serious stuff. Like I told you in the beginning, me and Kino will not continue letting you people skip and hop around life with a lollipop suck in your mouth while these flim flammers take advantage of you guys. We just can't. You know why we can't? Because you're stupid like that. We got to tell you. We got to help you. Things are bad out there. The watch market is dead completely. I told you, I believe, like a year and a half ago, buy gold, everything is dead. I repeat, I said to you guys a year and a half ago, buy gold, everything is dead. That's what I said to you guys. I'm not telling you to do it, but I told you that. And when I started telling you that, gold was at $1,800 an ounce. Then I told you again, it was at 2000 an ounce. Today, the ounce of gold is at $2,408 an ounce. That's right. There's where gold is at at this moment, $2,408. But when gold goes all the way up, the dollar collapses. I mean, you do whatever you want with your money. If you want to continue maintaining these flim flammers that have been fleecing you for too long until sweet kid Kino and I came along. No era Kino. Esta gente está loco, pai. Que se joda. Que sigan regalando el dinero. Lo huele bicho eso. Está bien. Anyway, if you don't know what huele bicho means, you Google it. I'm not going to tell you, and neither is sweet kid Kino. But we've been telling you. What's happening out there? Like I'm telling you, gold is at $2,408, I believe. The spot of gold. You know, the ounce. Puro. Oro puro. Pure gold. Okay? You got lucky I didn't tell you to Google that. Pure gold. 2408 an ounce. But like I'm telling you, when gold goes up, the dollar collapses. And that is what's happening in our country at this moment. Hold on to your money. Stop maintaining these flim flammers lifestyle. I know you want to continue maintaining their red gold fast car. Their, you know, Louis Vuitton Nike sneakers. Their ripped jeans. Their supreme hoodies. Their supreme red backpack. Louis Vuitton backpack. You know, all that good stuff. Their sushi dinner, their steak dinner, but the watch market is dead. And everybody at this moment in the watch industry is buying every single scrap gold watch they can get their hands on. Like a bell, like Ebel, like Rattle, Rado, whatever you call it, like Bugatti. You know, these watches, they're basically, they had a ton of go on them. They're buying them, you know, super cheap to melt them and make money to keep on maintaining their lifestyle. This is what watch dealers are doing now. They're buying gold watches that they are dogs with fleas that no one buys. But since gold continues going up, this is what they're doing now. I know a person that bought a Bugatti. The head of the Bugatti must have weighed like a hundred. ¿Cuánto fue que dijo el kilo que pesaba? Al tuito, al duro. ¿Cuánto? Escríbeme, escríbeme papel. 
178 grams. Glass of bath. 178 grams. The head of that Bulgari hat, when he took out the movement, it had 178 grams. It's one of those big, gigantic scuba scuba watches. You know, unbelievable. Big, big, big uh, Bulgari. And uh, the customer traded it in for another watch. These dealers are unbelievable. People that don't know, don't know. And they uh, traded in that Bugatti, let's just say for Rolex, I don't know, Daytona. And he traded in that watch and the guy gave him for that watch probably, gave him $5,000 for the watch. $5,000 and he paid him the difference for the, for the Daytona. And when he melt the watch, he had, I'm just going to say, you know, I, I don't know, but he had on the watch that he purchased for five, they traded in, got it and traded in. He had like $11,000 in gold, $11,000 in gold, something stupid like that. So these watch dealers, this is what they're doing now. They're buying scrap gold, dog with fleas, watch gold, watches that no one wants. They're taking them in now. So don't be stupid. Instead of trading it into them, you go to one of your pound brokers and tell them, hey man, just charge me, you know, $3 over the spot of gold. You know, you know, the grand, charge me $3 over and give it to them. But don't give it to these, you know, these uh, spoof balls that have been flim flamming you for so long. Stop being lollipop suckers. Stop being tomato cans. Stop being crayon eaters. The watch market is dead. I'm telling you, whatever scrap gold you have today, don't give it to them. You sell it yourself. You go and sell it somewhere. Go to the pawn shop and sell it. But don't give it to them. This is how these guys are making money now. Buying your grandpa's old watch. You know, a Juvenia, Juvenia watch. My father had a Juvenia back in the 80s and the mid 70s to the 80s, he had a Juvenia. They must have paid for it like around, you know, Juvenia. It was a Relo Macho, Relo Macho from Echo Hialeah. It was made in Hialeah. You got lucky to tell you that one again too. Made in Hialeah. I didn't tell you to Google it. My father must have paid for it, I don't know, $700 for that watch. And that watch today, that watch today, just in gold, that watch cost has that value of like, I don't know, $7,000, right? $7,000. And they're picking up these watches, these Muppet Boiler Room secondary great watch market dealers and channels. They're picking it up for a trade-in. You trade it in like a lollipop sucker. You give it up because you know why? Because you're going through life skip hopping around with a lollipop sucker in your mouth. That's right. And you're giving money to these people away for free. Stop being yo-yos. Stop being daughter birds. Stop continuing maintaining these people's lifestyle. I am telling you what's happening in China. I'm telling you what's happening with gold. You got to wake up. You got to wake up. Me and Kino will not be here forever. We won't be here forever. But we cannot continue letting you get flim flam and fleece by all these spoof balls and hook winks and hucksters. That's right. We can't. So there it is. You know what's happening already in China. You know what's happening with the gold market. It is booming. I believe that at one moment, gold is going to hit a number of $3,500 an ounce, if not more. So take your gold, take your, your, your technical school graduation ring, 10 carat, 14 carat, 18 carat, your children's high school rings that they don't even look at it, they don't even want it no more. You know, whatever you have, all that scrap gold, you know, Uncle Charlie's, you know, I don't know, bracelet, you know, I don't know, ID bracelet. Don't give it up to these flim flammers. You can sell it yourself and you tell the pawn shop gentleman, hey, just make $3 on me on the gram. And that's all. That's all.
He will be happy. The pawn shop guy will be happy making $3, $3 a gram. You know, he's happy. $3, two, whatever it is, $2, spot on that, you know? But don't give your watches and your gold to these dealers. They're just continuing, flim flaming you to keep on living that lifestyle they want. Unbelievable, true, unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, I also want to tell you something else. I talked to you about this watch, I would say, not even a month ago. They had this watch for over $28,000. Then $23,000. Even one of my uh, subscribers that he is in my watch private group sent me a link saying that we should buy this watch at $20,000 is going to blow up, right? That watch went down to 18000 you know? The, the person that sent me the, the little page, a little photo that this watch is over $20,000, it went down to eighteen. Then it went down to fifteen. And then I told you don't pay more than 12500 And I'm going to tell you today, ladies and gentlemen, don't pay. Don't pay for that tutor, chronograph, pink dial, Miss Piggy. Miss Piggy, don't pay more. I mean, you do whatever you want with your money. But I'm going to tell you, don't pay for that Tudor chronograph, pink dial, Miss Piggy. Don't pay more. I mean, you do whatever you want with your money. But if you want to continue maintaining these people's lifestyle, that's up to you. But don't pay for that Miss Piggy chronograph, Tudor. Don't pay more than $9,000 in the watch market dead. The watch market is dead. Don't give your children's tuition money away to these flim flammers. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. All this information was created by no other than Sweet Kid Kino. And you must applaud him. Tremendo <laughs> Kino, papa. Unbelievable, that Kino. Sweet Kid. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So, you have it there, you have China, you have gold, and you have the Tudor, Chronograph, Pink Dow, Miss Piggy. I already told you what you should pay. I mean, you do whatever you want with your money, it's your money, but the watch market is dead. The watch market is dead in a backyard pool and floating face down like this. <laughs> Unbelievable, true. Unbelievable. All right? Anyway, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And like my video. And like me and sweet Kit Kino say every week, take care and brush your hair.